you have a $25,000 Model 3. It's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, and you still have uh, a growth in, in gross margin, which is wild. Meet Kevin, who holds millions of dollars of Tesla stock. Today said that Tesla's Model 3 could be sold for $25,000 in the rather near future. Very profitably. Let's see why he said that and why he thinks so. Goldman Sachs uh, says that for Investor Day, you should expect Tesla to talk about the Generation 3 platform, a lower cost structure, potentially a Generation 3 vehicle platform, uh, where costs could be reduced by about 50%. March 1st is uh, going to be the Investor Day. And uh, they believe that everything about Investor Day will be about how is Tesla going to get their costs for vehicles down 50%, which actually increases their pricing power because if they, let's say, reduce prices 25%, but reduce costs 50%, you actually have massive PP, massively huge pricing power. It's really incredible. In fact, uh, rumor has it that Tesla might be close to announcing officially their uh, Giga Mexico. Yep. Yesterday, we had a government official from Mexico saying that a factory announcement is imminent. Although, just because it is imminent, it does not mean it will happen immediately. I would say I would expect it to happen either before the investor day on March 1st or during that event. Just think about the cost of goods sold for manufacturing in Texas, or sorry, uh, in uh, Mexico relative to Texas. Cost of goods sold for labor, your average wage in Mexico is somewhere around three bucks, uh, three twenty-five, three fifty. Whereas out in in Texas, you're probably fifteen to twenty-five bucks. So you're you're already looking at reducing your cost of labor by an order of magnitude of four x just by nearshoring uh, in, in in Mexico really incredible uh, labor cost reduction. The savings are going to be significant, although I don't think that alone is going to bring us anywhere near a 25,000 Model 3, although that would certainly help. Goldman Sachs here uh, w believes that Tesla is going to talk about achieving this cost reduction and then being able to uh, ship a lower cost consumer-based vehicle based off of that third generation platform. Now, Goldman Sachs believes that people, uh, uh, investors, think that Tesla would start shipping a lower cost consumer vehicle starting in 2025. Now, Goldman Sachs says they do not model for a lower cost vehicle. They're not projecting in their price forecast that Tesla will have a lower cost vehicle out by 2025. Just imagine basically what Wall Street is saying here. Uh, yeah, we expect Tesla to just stay exactly where it is, uh, sort of just like all other automakers have done before, because, you know, why change? Why improve? Why would you do something as crazy as keep improving your product relentlessly? I mean, it doesn't matter that you have been doing that every single year. Uh, we think that you will stop innovating now. So that's why we are not putting that in our forecasts. And then you look at 2030 Wall Street projections right here versus consensus. Wall Street thinks that Tesla will not even deliver 7 million vehicles in the year of 2030. No wonder Wall Street is so conservative because in the case of Goldman, they don't even think Tesla will have a cheaper vehicle in the year of 2025. Tesla will just supposedly give up and just let everyone take away market share that Tesla currently has. And that's how Tesla beats earnings estimates regularly. And they do not expect that Tesla is going to announce a specific product on Investor Day. Uh, however, there are a lot of investor rumors about maybe a Model 2, a Model Q. A Model Q is sort of like another slap in the face to the short sellers because Tesla Q is considered uh, your uh, Tesla short position. Uh, but anyway, uh, what, what's fascinating about this is uh, most financial models right now, uh, most people who, who essentially project prices for Tesla, uh, they they look at, okay, you know, how much money can Tesla make just ramping the three, maybe get the Cybertruck in there, throw a little bit of semi-truck in, a little bit of meta, mega pack expansion, that's it. Those are most models. Most models aren't touching robo-taxi. Most model, uh, um, uh, models are not touching a lower cost generation vehicle. I think facts already show us that it is wrong to assume postal driving is not going to be coming. You look at AI models, the number of parameters in AI models has been increasing by 10 times per year recently.
So I believe the fact is full self-driving is coming. Also, the fact is that this Toyota's days are numbered. I mean, you look at this Tesla and this Tesla next to this sad Toyota. However, if it is possible that a Generation 3 vehicle could uh, be built at a 50% lower cost, again, remember, you could take something like a Model 3, uh, which, you know, selling in that 40K range right now, and you could lower the cost of these substantially. Let's see what we could get a Model 3 for right now. So let's go to order now on the Tesla page. But anyway, you've got a Model 3 over here at about 43,000 bucks. If you could lower the cost uh, of a Model 3 by 50%, you could potentially lower the cost of this by as much as 40%. You don't even necessarily have to announce a new car. You could just sell the Model 3 cheaper, right? So, I mean, think about that. If if it's 43,000 bucks, let me make sure we don't have incentives on. Yeah, get rid of the potential savings over here. You could maybe lower the cost of this sucker by 40%. That would bring you down to $25,800. There's your $25,000 car. You don't actually need a new car. You could just take the Model 3 and sell it for 40% less, if you get your costs down 50%, you're actually gaining operating leverage. You're gaining gross margin while lowering prices potentially as much as 40%. And that gets you basically right to $25,000. 25.9, call it. So you don't really need a new vehicle to be announced to get to a $25,000 car if Goldman Sachs is right and Tesla can pull off a, uh, a, a margin. Uh, uh, reduction or cost reduction of 50%. But then remember, Goldman Sachs, looking at this report, they did not include any benefits from the Generation 3 platform, it would appear to me, until the end of 2025. I'm not sure that Tesla is going to wait for a few more years to release the next generation platform. I think they sort of need to get it out quicker specifically in China. Maybe they can do that via Gigafactory in Mexico, for example, right? And deliver the United States version uh, via the Inflation Reduction Act, which wants uh, vehicles produced in North America, which includes Mexico. And, uh, and, and you could potentially create that $25,000 vehicle without even announcing a new car. Sandy Monroe, he broke down how much a 2018 Tesla Model 3 long-range rear-wheel drive costs to make. He has it down exactly down to a penny. If we reduce this cost by 50%, then we end up with about $17,000 per vehicle. And if Tesla charged $25,000 for that vehicle, if let's say we have a 30% margin, then yeah, uh, that would certainly work. But I am not so sure that Tesla could really pull off in the near term, selling a Model 3 for $25,000 and reducing production costs by 50% for the Model 3. Although I think we should or could expect some significant savings in the rather near future when Tesla refreshes the Model 3 to the Highland model. There is some speculation that this 9,000 ton gigapress from Idra that was shipped to China is for the, either the next generation platform or perhaps for the refresh model 3. But we do not know for sure that it is for Tesla, although the color scheme would make you think it is for Tesla. It has this red uh, color, which is what Tesla usually likes. So I personally think that the next generation vehicle will be a separate vehicle that will be sold for, let's say, $25,000 and it will not be a Model 3. But if it does turn out to be a Model 3, think about the value that you are getting for $25,000. That would be absolutely unprecedented. Tesla would be out Tesling Tesla here. So I would expect we'll see a lot of information about the future of full self-driving uh, on Investor Day, as well as potentially that robo-taxi platform. But while ARC believes that will be the announcement of a completely new vehicle, I actually lean a little bit more towards <clears throat> Goldman Sachs' opinion that you could just cut costs by 50% for the Model 3. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, Goldman doesn't even talk about uh, this particularly, but if you then reduce prices of the Model 3 by 40%, you have a $25,000 Model 3. 
It's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, and you still have uh, a growth in, in gross margin, which is wild. That sounds like a big PP to me. A lot of pricing power. But uh, yeah, ARK Invest is convinced, at least Brett is, that there will be a new vehicle announced. So uh, they, they they have uh, and they said that very very confidently. So good for them. I would sure be happy if Kevin ends up being right on this one and Tesla ends up selling Model Three for twenty five thousand dollars while still making wild profits. That would be amazing. But I wouldn't keep my hopes that high because when I look at the twenty eighteen Tesla Model Three compared to twenty twenty two Model Y, you can see that the Model Y is, although there has been some inflation. Uh, quite a bit more expensive to make. So you would think in four years, the cost would have come down. And of course, it is a Model Y, a little bit bigger, more expensive to make and all of that. But if we expect the cost for a Model 3 to come down by 50%, we would certainly at least expect that the 2022 Tesla Model Y would be just maybe a tiny little bit more expensive to make than we compared to the Model 3, but it is still a whole lot more expensive to make. And while eventually, maybe years from now, Model 3 perhaps would sell for $25,000 eventually after being produced for many years, huge economies of scale, new manufacturing techniques, one piece casting where you cast the whole car in one piece. If we can get to that point, then yeah, maybe then we can do that. But until then, I think it is more likely that the $25,000 car will be a different car that is not going to be a Model 3. And this is the Tesla stock buying opportunity explained by Elon Musk. My name is Matt Posius. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.